Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Dan, the T-shirt guy, and welcome to The Never Show, where you know it's Wednesday, so we're reviewing the movies. And today's movie is Intruders. Uh, let me run everything down, and then I'll tell you what I thought. Okay. So, this was a very limited release. I got this via some of my channels. Uh, let me just do that real quick so we can... Now, this movie says it came out in 2005. It's a, this is very confusing. Um... This movie says it comes out. It came out this. It came out this week. It came out, you know, uh, January fifteenth, which is about f five days or so ago. For if you're by the time you see this, it'll be five. Okay. Um, it's from Blackfish Films, Campbell Grumman Films, Jeff Rice Films. This. VIC Vicarious Entertainment uh, distributors were Eagle Films, Monument Pictures, and Phase Four Films. Uh, cast was Rory Calkin as Dan Cooper, uh, Let Letta Zimez as Charlotte, uh, Jack Casey as J.P. Henderson, uh, Timothy McKinley as Conrad, Joshua Michaels as Vance, Beth. Ryan Gu as Ann Rook and Perry Cutter. Cunner as Martin Starr. It's drama, horror, thriller kind of thing. So, that said, um, ooh. Okay, so, uh, you throw in agoraphobic and with, uh, some desperate, desperate dudes trying to score some easy cash. And psychosis ensues, pretty much. Uh, pretty much, you know, everybody dies except for one dude, so he gets out to tell the tale to the cops. And at the end, this, the psycho, who has severe agoraphobia, which if you don't know what agoraphobia is, um, it is the fear of going outside. <laughs> Dang, do I have that sometimes because you feel like you're inappropriate and whatnot. Um, but uh, she overcomes this by killing all these dudes and then burns the house down and wanders off. Which, I don't like that. Don't do this to me, movies. All the movies I've seen lately have had this happen where we don't see what happens next, you know. Um, you've created, she's out wandering about. Apparently she leaves a big bag of money behind too, which, you know, is burning to the ground as we speak. And nothing. Um, oh, director was Adam Schindler, Sch Schneider, Schneider. I don't understand that. You know, what is with these new movies and what is with all the horror at the beginning of this year? I mean, with all the weird stuff and everybody dropping dead, I'm watching horror movies. I am not good at horror. It really messes with my head. Um, that said, uh, it wasn't a bad movie for an hour and 30 plus minutes, give or take. Um, for what I saw and what I watched, it's, it's good. It's not great. But it, for... A movie that no, almost no one's going to see because this thing is in so limited released that you're n probably not even going to care about it. Uh, it was a good movie. I just wish they kind of wrapped things up. They left me hanging, and I hate that. Don't leave me hanging, movies, unless you're going to have a sequel. So, Intruders, uh, Adam Schneider... Schneider is that correct? This, yeah. At least it doesn't have the chick over the A and the thingy over the, the wavy line over the N, which I can't pronounce and you can't find on a keyboard. Um, 
That said, uh, I don't see I'm, see myself as rewatching this. Uh, back to the FedEx it goes from whence it came. Uh, if, if it does show up on TV, which I do see this is something that probably is going to fall back in sometime in October. Uh, I do see this as a rewatch just because it is interesting on TV. I don't see this as a theater rewatch. I don't see this as a DVD buy. That said... Uh, this is the t Dan the T-Shirt Guy, and you're watching The Never Show, where we review the movies. And I will see you in the next movie review. Bye!